Hey everybody, Tim here from Workshop 12 and we wanted to take some time to announce our Mark 1.7 version of the electronics. Um, so we've made a few more improvements here uh, and felt it was time to be able to up the version on the product. Um, really it's got all the exact same components that were in the Mark 1.5, uh, but we've been adding bits and pieces to the 1.5 over time now and we figured it was time to be able to do a, a revision change um, or a version change on the electronics and show you kind of what we've done to hopefully improve the quality of the product, um, make it feel a little bit better. And again, just we're always looking to strive to, to improve the, the product. So um, here's version 1.7. So anybody that has version 1.5 will notice a uh, main difference is we've actually gone with a aluminum casing uh, around the electronics now. So this actually works really well, gives a nice solid feel to the electronics, um, helps again with just build quality, uh, saves our time on the printer printing the enclosures. So all around uh, a really nice improvement. Um, We've also lined up the uh, USB ports underneath the other ports that are coming in here. And we've got our fancy gold uh, knob on there for the volume knob for the amplifier as well. So again, all the components are the same uh, that were in the Mark 1.5. We have our standard uh, plug, depending on the uh, vehicle that you're in. So whether that's a 370Z, 350Z, FRS, WRX, we've got an OEM plug that will plug in and give you the uh, audio and power coming out of the unit. Uh, we also have a little amplifier uh, lead. If you are running a secondary amplifier for subwoofers and you need a remote, remote turn on switch, that's available here. And then we also have a ground uh, lead that we provide a extra grounding cable with. So you're able to run this directly down to a good chassis ground, making sure that you've got a good solid ground to the system. Um, some vehicles that's required, others it's just good to have a, a nice uh, solid ground with the system. Um, other things that we've been doing as we've been improving going on through the electronics is we've now been putting in this Axis uh, electrical noise uh, filter. So the goal of this is to filter out uh, as much of the noise that might be coming across your electrical system in your vehicle as possible before it ever hits the electronics. So we've been wrapping this up into our harness, all kind of wrapped here with some nice Tessa tape to keep it nice and clean um, and uh, have that available. So on the old unit, we used to have some vents in the top. So now for cooling, we're using the aluminum case and we also have uh, vents down the uh, backside of the unit as well to be able to allow air in and out and also the aluminum be allow us to get dissipate heat out of here better than the plastic was before. Um, on the other end coming out of the system again same as what we had before we've got the USB uh, cable that's coming out of the system whether that's micro USB or USB-C most of our kits are using USB-C now uh, we have our little enclosure in the middle here that essentially allows you to be able to do charge and USB accessory at the same time. The big key that's in here is to make sure that when the vehicle's turned off, that the USB uh, accessories that might be plugged into your ports here aren't pulling and drawing power from your tablet when the vehicle is turned off, because that can quickly drain your battery. So this is all part of the kit. Um, and then we also have an additional charge cable. Um, so in this case, uh, you might want to be able to charge your phone charger into it and run a cable under your system. Uh, in the case of the upcoming G37 uh, kit, we've got a, a wireless charge mat that plugs into here uh, to be able to keep everything all nice and charged in the system. So that is uh, uh, version 1.7 or Mark 1.7 of the electronics. Again, I think we've made some nice improvements on this. Um, also with the kit uh, that you get included, uh, we talked about the uh, grounding cable. You also get a 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable that comes with the kit. Uh, and we also have been packing in RCA ground loop isolators as well. So these are all just factory packaged. Uh, this is an access one that's in here. Uh, it's got reversible input and output. And we'll take a look at what's all involved in connecting everything together and what we actually use for our testing harness before we ever ship any of the kits out. So that's a quick overview of what's in the, the Mark 1.7 uh, electronics. Um, we're really, really happy with how the uh, case turned out. Uh, we've got better solid mounts inside there holding everything together. Everything's all in a nice, neat package. It's virtually indestructible in there. So if you're tucking it back into the dash, you don't have to worry about you know anything snapping or breaking as you're pushing it back into there. Uh, again, we always recommend you know zip tie this thing up inside of your dash so it doesn't rattle and move back around and forth. Um, 
But uh, with that, let's just move over to the testing rig and we will show how these pieces get connected together to be installed in your dashboard. All right, we're over here at the bench and we will take a look at how everything comes together. So one of the things that you're gonna want to do first is get your uh, RCA ground loop isolator set up. So this access unit has two cables, an input and an output. They're totally reversible uh, on the unit itself. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the RCA outs coming from the tablet and you're going to plug them into the uh, inputs that match up for this kit. And then you're going to plug it into the input jack uh, on the ground loop isolator. You're gonna take the other cable that comes with the ground loop isolator, plug that into the output itself and then this lead of RCAs is going to then go straight to the electronics, to the right and left on the electronics itself here. So this is a great little unit that tries to, again, filter any kind of noise coming from um, the tablet itself out of the uh, headphone jack uh, and try to minimize and remove any kind of electrical or, or kind of interference that's coming across that channel. So that kind of connection is how you're able to make all the different pieces come together. Now, I recommend if you can try to tuck that uh, uh, isolator or any of the wiring away from other electronics or behind your dashboard. So away from ECUs, away from climate control units, kind of tuck it away wherever it goes. Because while you're trying to filter out any of the kind of distortion that might be coming across that, if you place your source that's coming out of this close to something that's causing distortion, then it's gonna get that picked up again in the wires before it gets to your audio equipment. So that's the first connection that you're going to do there. And then simply all you're gonna do is plug your headphone jack into the headphone jack of the tablet itself. So that's your audio connection that's coming into the, into the tablet. The other source that you're going to do to be able to plug into your tablet is you're gonna take your USB port that you have uh, and the USB cable that comes with it and you're gonna plug that into the bottom of your tablet or the top depending on whichever your tablet orientation and model that you have. So those are the two main connections that you're gonna to run to your tablet is you've got your audio connection and you've got your USB connection. Plug those in and you're good to go from the tablet side. On the other end of the electronics, you're going to have your, uh, your plug that's gonna plug into your harness. So one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take your ground cable, we've got little butt joint connectors in here where you can connect those together, and then you're going to run the loop end of the cable to a chassis mounting point. I think this is big enough for a quarter inch uh, bolt or screw to go through it to go to your, a nice solid metal chassis grounding point. So that connection is there. And then all that's left to do is to take your factory harness that comes with your vehicle and plug it into the harness that we provide. That's gonna give power to the unit, it's going to provide, electric, uh, provide uh, the audio out of the unit into your factory system. Um, and we have you know, just different examples here where we're able to plug those things uh, in, into our test rig. Uh, our test rig is actually set up with all the different types of factory harnesses that are in the cars that we support. Uh, anything that we have for Nissan is actually going through the Nissan Bose amplifier as well to make sure that we're testing that those remote signal turn-ons are working for that and all the wiring is working for that. Um, and literally, we're able to plug all of these uh, things in. Uh, Alex goes through all of the audio tests, all of the electrical tests, making sure right and left is working, uh, double checking that USB charge and accessories working, we're plugging in USB accessories, uh, everything all set up on the test rig here, making sure that everything is working throughout the system uh, before we give it a quality check and send it out the door. Um, so that's really what there is for installing it into your car. Um, any kind of disassembly instructions and those things of your dashboard we have posted as part of our plastics install uh, and I'll show you how to get uh, those things out. But really at the end of the day with the kit, it's audio plug, USB plug into the tablet, and then you've got your factory plug and grounding cable for uh, going into your audio system. And as I mentioned before, we do have an amplifier lead. If you have a remote amplifier that you're going to be turning on and you're splitting your signal and doing other different subs uh, and amplifiers, uh, all that's possible as well. So that's a quick look into uh, Mark 1.7, uh, what's done to be able to install it into the vehicle. 
Um, and we hope you like the, uh, the new improvements that we have uh, put in place.